Now then, tell me, who's behind the zoot appearances with you? Is it Slade? Don't know what you're talking about. Okay then, we'll get us the hard way. Oh, come on, Ruby. You're telling me we didn't have a good time last night, huh? Funny, because you said last night was a one-off. So why not have another one? Because a one-off means that. If you have a second one, then it's not a one-off anymore. Well, why not just treat them separately? Could you please tell your friend to quiet down? Leave him. He needs to practice if he wants to walk one day. Look, how about we just call it a two-off with a rolling renewal option? I suppose you don't know where Tyson is either. Hey! No! Oh, liar! Look, I know nothing! To remember. <clears throat> you don't think I'm gonna fall for that old trick, do you? Tim! I fell asleep waiting for you. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, Amber's come back. Amber? Yeah, so we stayed up talking till the early hours. How is she? Oh, you know, she's fine, a bit tired. So you haven't seen her then? No, no. Okay. So, did you tell her about us? Well, I, I was trying to, but I never really got to the right moment, you know? Do you want me to tell her? Oh, no, it's fine. No, let me do it, please. <laughs> She's still sore at me about Bray. Is that what's worrying you? Nothing's worrying me. It's really not a problem. You sure? You seem like something's on your mind. No, no, I'm really fine. I guess just a little short of sleep. <sighs> okay. Well, how about we both go and tell her? Well, yeah, sure. Why, why not? <laughs> He's coming around. About time. Must have hit him quite hard. Mm, not hard enough. Morning, Lex. Didn't think you were coming back quite so soon. Or with such good intentions. Hey! Easy, Tiger. Somebody could get hurt. So, you're all in on it, huh? With Ebony and Java, right? Like I said, the guy's crazy. All in on what? The guest appearances of Zoot? Creating panic in the city so he can take it over? We don't want to listen to all this. The poor guys... No, I want to hear what he has to say. Lex, why do you think we're involved in a plan to take over the city? Oh, I get it. You don't know who he is, do you? <laughs> His name's Gabe. Slade brought him in half dead. Lady, you're being taken for a ride. His name is not Gabe. This prime scuzzbag here has half the city searching for him. He's the ex-leader of the Technos and the proud creator of Paradise. Ram, you're hiding him here in your place. Listen. How dare you bring him into my place and lie about it? And you, what have you got to say for yourself? Well, you don't possibly think that I could have been doing all that stuff while I was locked up in here, right? 
You've ruined thousands of people's lives with paradise. You can leave now. Give him to me. I'll take him back where he belongs. Enough. No one's going anywhere. I'll decide what happens to Ram and no one else. Is that clear? Have you forgotten whose place this is? No. But you won't have a place if people find out he was hiding here. So quit belly aching. So what happens to me? Oh, I'll decide what happens to you too. We can't prove Jack's theory because Rams destroyed the files. And we can't stop the holograms because the other tribes won't let us turn the power off. So that's it. We're in the corner. And, and you know, can't we just chance it? They made it pretty clear what they'd do if we did. And we can't fight a war on two fronts. Hey, everyone. Amber! Hey, Mouse. Sammy, Jack, Jay. Amber, how are you? Well, I'm all in one piece. It's good to see you. Um, Amber, have a seat. Let me get you something. Oh, I'm all right. What is this, a council of war? Kind of. Trudy didn't want to wake you. Well, you must be tired after that journey. Well, I'm all right, but from what I've seen out there, we need to get moving. Where are we at? Isn't Celine still asleep? I mean, shouldn't we wake her? I'll go. Oh, no, leave her. She needs to rest. Zoot came to me again last night. He said that I shouldn't punish his followers for their cowardice. Oh, okay, good. He said that his enemies would be destroyed, but that we should be patient. Yeah, I'm sure he's right about that. He's waiting for that big event, I guess. The one he mentioned. He didn't tell me when that's going to happen. He's probably not ready yet. It still doesn't make sense. How do you mean? Makes sense to me. Zoot never waits. Zoot never makes plans. He acts immediately, always. Well, maybe he's changed. Maybe he's mellowed a little. How can Zoot change? Zoot is power and chaos. He never changes. Oh. That's it. Going somewhere, Lex? Sorry. Can't have you going back to the city and spilling the beans. You have no right keeping me here. I guess that's true. And if you're thinking about taking over the city, you don't have a chance. I guess that's true too. But if you don't get back inside, you won't stand a chance either. Hey, Celine. Hi, May. You okay? Fine, considering. You know, you shouldn't be doing all this on your own. It's okay, I volunteered. Yeah, but they shouldn't have let you. It's not right. It's okay, really. No, I insist. Come on. May, will you stop this? Please. I wanted something to do to keep my mind off things. Why do you have a problem with that? Okay, God, I was just trying to be supportive. I'm sorry. May, no. No, don't worry. I know when I'm not wanted. May, please. It's me who should be sorry. I, I'm just feeling a little stressed. Say that again. Why don't we do it together and, and then you can tell me everything you've been doing while I've been away. Hey, Amber. How are you? Never better. Well, slight exaggeration. Am I disturbing you? No, no, I'm just downloading that stuff of Jack that we talked about. Thanks. Looks like it's down to me again. Celine couldn't carry on as city leader even if she wanted to. She doesn't. And you? Do I have a choice? We all have a choice. I'm beginning to wonder. Hey, I heard you had an encounter with Ebony and the Zoot Crazies. Had him on the run, even. Oh, that. Well, maybe for a moment. Want to tell me about it?
Hey, Blondie. How's it going? It looks like you could do with a good meal. She stinks. Relax, she'll scrub up fine. Come with us, we'll look after you. No, go off me, get away from me! Oh, don't be like that. <laughs> oh, she's a wild one, I like a wild Hey, you! Get them! You okay? I'm fine, thanks. Don't mention it. But Zoot saved your life today, so you owe him. Who is Zoot? What, are you trying to be funny with me, sister? No, I'm sorry, but I don't know anyone called Zoot. Okay. Come with us. We'll tell you all about it. We took one step, just one step, and they were off. <laughs> I'd like to have seen that. You should have seen the look on Ebony's face when she realized they'd gone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey. Uh, Jay was just telling me about Ebony and the crazies. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Jack wants to know if you've got that stuff yet. Oh. Yeah, it looks like it's working. Maybe another time, though, eh? No, no, he really needs it now, he said. Oh. Okay. Is everything all right? Uh, you know, Jack, when he wants something... Mm. Well, better get this one fed. <sighs> we'll catch up later, okay? Fine. Well, that seemed pretty friendly. Yeah. So, what did you say? About what? I don't know. Anything. <laughs> Nothing. But I tell you, she is a completely different person. Good old Amber again. I think the country had to do some good. Brought you some food. How's your head? Like you care? Yes. And as it happens, I don't like this any more than you do. Then why don't you let me go? Because Slade's right. If anyone finds out I'm keeping Ram here, I'm finished. I won't tell. Thanks. But he might. He wouldn't get a chance. Just thought you'd like to know, Mr. Tough Guy. I'm not a big fan of cold-blooded murder. And for what it's worth, I think he's telling the truth about your partner. What was her name again? Tysa. How long were you together? Not long enough. Well, it sucks being left alone in the world. Is that what happened to you? Something like that. And Slade? Where does he fit in? Enjoy your food. It's one thing for Zoot to run her life for her, but it's another when she starts disagreeing with him. She's starting to go off the wall big time. She'll be fine, don't worry about her. But if she gets any worse, no one's gonna take her seriously. These kids think of her as their leader. We'll cross that bridge if we get to it. <gasps> That's the kid who tried to wipe Ebony out, isn't it? Where is she? Inside. Think we should evacuate? Wait. That girl, where'd you find her? She was lost. Kind of strange, too. She says she's never heard of Zoot. What'd she have with her? Nothing. Just the clothes she's sitting down in. You sure? No bag or anything? Yeah. Why? It doesn't matter. Lock her up. Maximum security. Okay. Each time they use a hologram, there's a power switch. Which means he'd have to go in and delete the record so there's no proof. Right, which means he needs to enter the network somewhere. And we can trace that? Exactly. And see if there's a pattern that matches the hologram sightings. Oh, hey, Trudy. Did you want something? No, nothing that can't wait. You sure? Yeah, you guys look really busy, so I'll leave you to it. OK, see, so we need a shortcut. Check this out. If you take a basic model of the, the dates of the sightings, you just might get the excess dates. Okay. 
You listening in, baby? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Who sent you? No one sent me. Why are you keeping me here? Don't play games with me. You think you can just walk in here and insult my intelligence by pretending you don't know who I am? I don't. I'm sorry. How are you going to do it? Do what? Why don't you just please tell me what you're accusing me of? She's bluffing. I'm not so sure. It makes no difference. Take her out and finish her. Yeah, we could do that, but supposing Zoot sent her? Why would he do that? Maybe he has a purpose for her. Or maybe he wants us to see where this leads. How? If she is bluffing, we find out who's behind it. And if she really has lost her memory, well, it seems a waste to delete her until she remembers what it's for. Seems pretty calm now. Let's hope it's not the calm before the storm. We've come through worse. I don't see us now coming through this, do you? Yeah, I guess if we can beat Ram with his technos behind him, we can beat Ram now. And the ugly sisters. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. The Ugly Sisters. Reminds me of happier times. Kind of mine. Jay. Amber? Oh, hi, Jay. Um, Bray woke up crying before and I can't get him back to sleep. Oh, he seems so settled. Yeah, sorry, I think he needs his mom. <laughs> That's okay. Well, I better go and see what's the matter. <laughs> When are we going to tell her? <laughs> Poor May. I bit her head off. And when I said she could help, she didn't want to anymore. Yeah, there's been something really strange about her lately. I don't feel comfortable around her at all. Me neither. You know, sometimes, looking at everything that's going on, I think maybe Pride's better off out of it all. If I'd gone to the Ecos way back when he wanted to, he'd still be alive. Hey. We can't rewrite the past. We have to look forward now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it good about Jay and Amber, though? At least one positive thing's happening. I think they're gonna make each other really happy. Yeah. yeah. Can we talk? Okay, look, I owe you an apology. You owe me rent for another room. Ruby, you gotta understand, that Lex guy had no business sniffing around here the way he did. Oh, so it's all his fault? Partly. There's no way I can have people like that interfering in my business. And what is your business, Slade? You haven't said. My business is just that. Mine. I thought you were a decent guy when you showed up, Slade. But it turns out that you're keeping a criminal in my house. And a hostage. You're right. I've taken advantage of you, Ruby. I know I have. I'm sorry. You deserve better. Best thing is I should go. And take Ram with me. Got a drink ready yet? Yeah, she looked like she needed it. Let's hope she doesn't have any more of her zoot dreams tonight. Tell me about it. Here, you want to take it to her? Sure. Here you go. This will help you sleep. Here? Why would Zoot have sent her? 
Hasn't it ever occurred to you that maybe Zoot doesn't control everything? Are you doubting him? No. All I'm saying is, well, if you and Zoot don't see eye to eye about everything, maybe it's a sign you need to be yourself more. Because you're not a slave, right? You're his bride. And a bride doesn't have to do everything her husband says, does she? You know what I'm saying. Whatever. You're tired. Let me tuck you in. There now. Sleep tight. Thanks. Come on, Slate. You haven't even said where we're going. That's because I don't know yet. Why don't you just offer up a better trade? Because I don't have anything else to trade. Anyway, it wouldn't make any difference. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Come on. Okay, and where do you think you two are going? Excuse me? Look, I'm probably gonna regret this, but you can stay. Minds, huh? Yeah. He's sleeping okay now? Oh, yeah, he's fine. I don't know what all that was about. Thanks. Well, big day tomorrow. Good night. Um, Jay, don't go. Uh, there's something I've been trying to tell you all day, but. Every time something gets in the way. What is it? Well, I feel a bit foolish, but, um... I've been thinking a lot about some of the things I said to you about Bray, and... Well, I've realized it was wrong of me to blame you for what happened. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's over now. But I, I let it get in the way of things. Important things. Because when I said nothing could ever happen between us, I was wrong. I, I know now, Jay, I, I want us to be together. 